hate crimes against Asian Americans are on the rise. China virus. At least 3,000 anti-Asian incidents since February. job to protect Rob, but this, this is something I never saw in a million years. Shit, Joe, it ain't your fault. So it's damn Chinese brand this shit. Rob might get it next. Hell, any of us could be next. Rob ain't the same. And I feel like you don't even want to fight anymore. I've seen it in the gym. It's like he's got nothing to fight for. Well, let's give him something. What do you mean? What are we supposed to do? Just sit here, offer condolences? His mama just died. I get that. I God rest her soul, but we still got life in us. We're acting like we're next or something. I know there's still life in Rob, but if we don't give him something to fight for, he's just gonna end up drunk, drugged up. What do you suggest we do? If it wasn't for COVID, his mom would still be alive today. So I say he fights to Avenger. You saying we should have Rob fight in China? Oh, no, I'm saying we have Rob's next opponent be Chinese. And we beat his ass. I make an example of him. A super fight. Rodeo against the biggest Chinese boxer for the title. That way, Rob's got something to fight for, and we make a shit ton of money. Only problem being, ain't no Chinese people big in boxing. Nobody? Nobody anyone will pay to see. No Chinese. Yeah. Then we'll just open it up. Chinese, Asian, whatever the fuck. If you can fight, you have a chance with the champ. We just gotta find someone that Rob can beat the shit out of. Fucking loser. Now. Mom, I'm not gonna stop boxing, all right? I just won. Oh, yeah? How much? How much? How much? $36. 36? You'll risk your life for $36? Please, stop this boxing now. And, and just be a nurse. Mom, I don't want to be a nurse. Fine, then just work at the post office. It's a stable job, Seuss. See, that's why I don't want to live here anymore. You always tell me to find a stable job. 
Like I'm trying to fight for my dream here. Nick, you're gonna give me a heart attack. You wanna give me a heart attack? Mom, calm down. Please, stop this fighting. No. Then I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, Zeus. Oh, that's what you want? Oh, okay, you want me to die? Lord God, please strengthen me to be the next boxing world champion. Please allow my mom to be proud of me. And please, Lord, allow me to never become a nurse. Hey, holding up. I'm doing all right. I know you got a lot going on now. And I, I just wanted to say, your mama, she meant the world to us. I appreciate that. Which is why I wanted to bring something up to you. What's that? Oh. See, these Chinese, they started this virus. And now we got thousands of people dying all over America. I mean, hadn't started with them, your mama would still be alive. This is the greatest country on the face of the earth. Are we gonna let this virus keep killing our people? Killing our morale, our, our hope? Now, I say we fight back for your mama, for America. I said we put a Chinese boxer in the ring and you beat the shit out of him. Show him what happens when you fuck with America. Son, they took your mama. Well, let's take their fucking heads off in the ring. Zeus! Hey, hey, what's going on? What's up, man? I heard you won your fight last night. Damn right I did. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I also heard Lorenzo quit. He was giving me bad advice. Okay. <laughs> okay, I understand. I also heard you was thrown out. They only give me $36. And? So you hit him? You're lucky you even got that. You gotta build your record up. You don't just get a shot at the world title. You gotta build your way up there. You're not even paying attention to me right now. Who's that? That guy? Yeah. You don't wanna fuck with him. He only trains black fighters. Why's that? 
I just heard he's from the streets, and he only trained people from the streets. But forget about him. You follow my plan, you'll be making the big bucks, and then you can hire whoever you want. You always say that shit, man. I'm tired of being broke. You know how embarrassing it is to live at home with your mom? <laughs> You're Asian. It's cool. <laughs> you can stay at home until you're like 40. You think I want to live at home with my mom until I'm 40? <laughs> well, you can always be a nurse. Man, fuck you. Why? I'm just saying, it's a noble job. Plus, they pay well. And besides, you're Filipino. All nurses are Filipino. Man, the only time I want to see a nurse is in the ring when I knock out my next opponent. And speaking of my next opponent, you got that set up for me yet? I'm working on it. Man, you always say that shit. <laughs> Let me ask you. Have I ever failed you? Yes. Well, have you ever lost a fight? No, but I control whether I win or lose. You control who goes in the ring with me. Do your job or I'm gonna find somebody else. Don't talk to me like that. Look, I'll do my job. You just worry about knocking them out. Come on, get out of here. You did a good job last night. <laughs> Almost forgot to put on this mask, you know, this coronavirus shit. <laughs> you don't know about it because you're Asian. Whoa, whoa, what's that supposed to mean? You're immune to it. Why would I be immune to it? You're Asian. It started in Asia. I'm Filipino-American, man. I was born here in L.A., you know that. I know, but you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean, man. Man, stop being a fucking racist. I'm not racist. I'm just telling you the facts. The facts is you don't have to be Asian to have the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm just following the news. Just get out of here. You don't hear them talking about COVID. COVID. To be specific, COVID-19. That name gets further and further away from China as opposed to calling it the Chinese virus. And despite the fact that we, I, have done a phenomenal job with it. People from China in late January, which is much... Hey, bro, we check it out. Book, book, book yeah. it. Don't get that shit. I say... Hey, old man. What's up, old man? Book out of you. You know where you at? Hey, Looks yo, like you need some hand sanitizer. Get out of here, man. Huh? You're spreading the fucking virus. You need virus some hand sanitizer, here. buddy? We don't like you that. You need some shit. hand sanitizer? Nobody likes that shit. Get the <laughs> many cars. Yeah, yeah, come on. Huh? Who are you asking a bunch of here, bro? Come on, just a little bit. Nobody likes hey! that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. What are you messing with the old man for? What? You want some too? What do you ever do to you? This. We greatly appreciate y'all being here. Now, this is a tough time for all of us. And as difficult a time as it is, we would like to announce that this will be the last fight of Rob Rodeo Cooper's career. But, but, and with that said, we would also like to announce that Rob will be given an opportunity for a shot at the title to anyone who would like to apply. What do you mean by anyone? Uh, Rodeo understands how hard it is to become world champion. How sometimes it's unfair that up-and-coming fighters have to make their way up the ranks. So Rob would like to give this unique opportunity to the right person. And all they have to do is apply on our website, and we will announce who the lucky opponent will be. Or unlucky, should we say. <laughs> Why now, in these tough times? Why so soon? Didn't your mother just pass? I believe that fighting is the thing I do best. Hell, it's the only thing I know how to do. But with my mother gone, I feel like there's nothing left to fight for. But my team, Coach Bundy, Luke Mahoney, the only family I have left, They brought to my attention what I must fight for now. And that is? 
justice. And how will you do that? Find out on October 10th. Thank you very much. Wait, just one more question. Can you tell us who you're going to pick? Who gave you this idea? Oh, hi, Auntie Santa. Morning, Zeus. Where's your mom? Oh, she's at the grocery store. Grocery store? But she asked me to color her hair. Sorry, Auntie. Ayun na kong kakainis. You still boxing? Yes, Auntie. Gorilla in Manila. Zeus, you're not from Manila. You're an Amboy. What's an Amboy? American boy. Marunong ka ba magtagalog? No. I understand a little. Have you ever been to Manila? No. Well, when I was young, yeah. <laughs> You're an adult now, so start acting like one. Stop wasting your life in this boxing. You're too old, Zeus. Gorilla in Manila. You're not even a gorilla. People say I fight like one, auntie. But are you a gorilla? No. You're getting older. Your mom is getting older. Who's going to take care of her? A gorilla? I'll take care of her. Grow up, Zeus. Get a stable job. Make good money. How much money are you making now? Not much. Not much? <laughs> All this boxing, boxing, you're making nothing, nothing. Don't be a loser. Smariose. Don't you pity your mom? She works two jobs just to support both of you. Two jobs, Zeus. You Amboys have no respect for us. You have no idea what we went through to get to this country. All you do is waste your life pursuing these dreams while we break our backs to support you. You are not a true Filipino. Did great, Rob. Now we wait. I like how you sold that equal opportunity bullshit. <laughs> we got to. Otherwise, we'll say we're racist. And we want people to see this fight. At the end of the day, it ain't about being white or black or yellow. It is all, all <laughs> about the green. <laughs> hey, fellas. I think we found our guy. Oh, shit. You believe that shit? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Ma, can you help me? There's more in the trunk. Zeus, where are you going? I'm going to the gym, Uncle. Come here. Let me talk to you first. I want to know what's happening in your life. I'll only take a few minutes of your time. Come. So, what's going on in your life, Anak? Nothing much, Uncle. Just training for my next fight. You need to find a good, stable job. A government job. Have you ever think about uh, joining the Navy? Yes. It's a good paying job with benefits. And you got to serve your country. You know I was in the Navy for 20 years. It's how I came to America. I got to see the world, buy a house, and live a good life. I'll think about it. You said think about it, but nothing happens. Write it down. Make a plan or something. Come on! You have to help your mom here. You're her only son. When she gets old, no one's gonna take care of her. I mean, look at her. She works just for you. And what do you give her in return? <laughs> See? 
Nothing. Are you ashamed? I'll take care of her, Uncle. With what? Well, when I win these fights... You have no money! When I win these fights, I'll have enough money. There you go again. <laughs> Dreaming. Zeus! You getting my next fight yet? No, no, no. I got you something better. Come on, man. Look, look. I got you something better. Oh, damn. Yeah. Just saw it. Everybody's wondering who it was. I knew it was you when you threw that right. You're gonna be fucking famous, man. I know you're trying to be off the grid, but right now is a perfect time to get back on it. You're blowing up. So does this mean you'll give me my next fight? Yes. This means big bucks for you and for me. All right, then. I just wanted to show you in person. You really knocked the shit out of that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> All you had to do next was give him a blanket. Night, night, bitch. <laughs> so Damn, good. man. Good job. You Thanks. really showed him. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> I told you he was going to be famous. That was a good punch, son. Thanks. I'm Coach Green. Nice to meet you. Zeus. Hey, how would you like to make some cash? I got this. I'm his manager. How you doing? Unofficial manager. What's the deal? How about you test out them knockout skills against my fight over there? All right. You knock him out, I'll give you a thousand bucks cash. That's all I gotta do? Yep, that's all you gotta do is just knock him out. What if I lose? Nothing. You got nothing to lose. All right, then. Where's your trainer? I don't have one. <laughs> you got this. You sure you want to do this fight? Yeah, I need the money. All right. Let's get started. Hey, just so you know, this is boxing, all right? Not kung flu. <laughs> hey, coach, you know there's COVID going around, and you put me head to head with this nigga? You trying to get me taken out before the fight even started? Shut up, man. Let's fight. Oh, shit. This nigga speaks English. <laughs> OK, you had me confused there, kung flu master. Now, I hope you know how American boxing goes. You see, it all starts with the jab. <laughs> Moving too fast for you, brother? <laughs> Come on. This is too easy. Come on. Too easy. Uh, uh, get your ass up. Uh, 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 uh. Set up the fight. You sure you want to fight this guy? Damn sure. This guy's going around punching random Americans? Fuck that. I'm going to send his ass back to China. Uh, I've been doing my research. He's from Los Angeles, and he's Filipino. Same shit. He fought some guy in the ring. He snuck up behind him and knocked him out. A true fighter faces his opponent and then strikes. Look, I'm ready. I want you to fly out there tomorrow and set up the fight. Well, sounds like we're going to war.
may puting mama sa labas. Uh, can I help you, sir? Morning, ma'am. I'd like to talk to Zeus Ortega. Uh, is he in trouble? Because he doesn't live here. He live in uh, Stockton with his antipat. No, ma'am. I'd like to present an offer to your son for the middleweight championship title of the world. Zeus! Dalian mo! Bukang maraming pera dito para sa'yo! Uh, you don't mind if I... Uh, would you like some buko juice or calamansi juice? Water would be nice, ma'am. Thank you. You're quite the talk of the town. Thank you. You're trending all over social media. I don't know if you're familiar with Rob Rodeo Cooper. I'm very familiar with Rob. I think he's a great fighter. Well, he thinks you're a great fighter. Matter of fact, that's why I'm here. How'd you like to go head to head with the champ? I don't know what to say. I'd be honored. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, but how much money will my son get to fight this uh, rodeo? Well, this would be a big fight. So you'll be receiving about $1.2 million. Oh, my God. A million dollars? Anak. Say yes. Magyes ka. Now, Rodeo would be getting 10, obviously because of his record, but you will walk away with a million. Win or lose. Anak. Magyes ka na. Hold on, Mom. Let me just get the details for a second. I don't care about the details. I don't want to work anymore. Where's the contract? I'll sign. Hmm. What's the catch? There's no catch. Win or lose. The money's yours. All right, let's do it. What the fuck just happened? Hold on, calm down for no, a no, second. No, 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 no. I look online and your mom posted something about you being a millionaire? I signed the deal. Signed what? A $1.2 million contract to fight Rob Rodeo Cooper. <laughs> Why didn't you call me? I thought I was your manager. Man, it happened so fast. What do you want me to say? No? And besides, it's not like you get me deals anyways. He was like, Zeus, you're going to be famous. Zeus, you're going to get this and that. Man, at the end of the day, I just want to fight. When you're at home living with your mom, and all you hear is that you're a loser, and you want to mount to nothing, man, something inside just said, sign the damn thing. I get it. I understand. But I have to ask you, as your manager, the one who always believed in you. Oh, man, here it is. I mean, always believed in you. I gotta know, are you gracious enough, generous enough to give me 10%? First of all, you never get me any fights. Second of all, you're always all talk and no delivery. But at the end of the day, loyalty is more important than money. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you some money. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, all right, hey, don't make me knock your ass out. Hey, hey, hey. Save that for the ring with Cooper. All right. Let's be serious. What are you going to do for a trainer? Not going to like this answer, but I think I know the right guy. It better not be Coach Green. No. No, 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 no. He's crazy. And that's why he's perfect. You're the one in the ring, not me. 
As long as you sign the check for the 10%, we're good. I'm out of here. Back so soon? I sent you ass the money. I sent it back. And why you do that for? Because I want you to be my coach. Your, your coach? Yeah, I don't have one. And I need one to beat Rob Rodeo Cooper. <laughs> Hear this nigga? No offense, man. But I train real fighters. Motherfuckers that came from the street. Not no social media viral one hit wonder motherfucker. I grew up in a tough area too, all right? I got into my first fight when I was 11. And what else you did in kindergarten? Man, if you don't want to train me, that's fine. I'll find somebody else. Hold on, hold on. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be your coach, but I'm going to give you a monkey ass a chance to show me what the fuck you got. All right. Now, get the fuck out of my face before I change my motherfucking mind. to do that. No problem. That guy always does that. What do you mean? He doesn't take a lot, but I see every time he does it. I'm sure he needs it more than I do. You let him steal from you? I don't look at it as stealing. Well, I usually see you here working hard and singing. You can't let people like that rob you. Well, what's worse, a robber or a stalker? Whoa, whoa, who's this stalker? Hold on, I'm trying to do a good thing here, help you out. I'm not some creepy guy who just stares at you all day. Right. I'm Cora. That's a cool name. It's short for Corazon. Corazon Punong Bayan. Oh, so you're Filipino. My name always gives it away. It means tree. Tree of the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Filipino, too. What's your last name? Uh, Ortega. Sounds more Mexican. Aren't Filipinos and Mexicans of Asia? <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard Joe Coy say that once. Joe Coy is hilarious. Yeah, you put Filipinos on the map. Look, um, I don't know if it's your lunch break right now, but I do know a good place around here that sells good holo holo, if you want to try it. I mean, I did save you from being robbed, so... I love how Villa Manila makes the best holo holo. It's like, finally, white folks will be able to enjoy our food. I know, right? For the longest time, I was always embarrassed to eat any Filipino food in front of my white friends because they'd always be like, what's that smell? <laughs> I wish I could go to the Philippines someday just for the food. Yeah. Have you ever been? Yeah, when I was really young, but I haven't been there ever since. 
I always see photos on social of Barack I, Palama, and I'm like, that's my hood. It makes me proud to see Filipinos being recognized for something. Yeah, it's either that or Balut. Oh, that nasty egg fetus thing? Wait, you don't like it? Gross, you like that stuff? Yeah. How would you know unless you try? How about this? If I find a good bullet place, you gotta take me there. If you find a good one. I'm really picky when it comes to good bullet. And the way you gotta eat it. Mm. I see you got them good bullet skills. <laughs> so, are you training for a marathon or something? No, I'm training for a pretty big fight. Oh, you're a fighter. MMA or boxing? I box. Well, show me what you got. Oh, uh... Oh, my God! I am so sorry! It's fine. I thought you were fast. I am fast. I just, you know, didn't expect it. Um, but anyways, uh, what do you do? <laughs> Obviously, you didn't hear me singing back there. Oh, I have, and you sing really well. Right. No, you're really. just saying that. No, I know I'm toward the end of my run when I start to hear your voice. There's something unique about it where I don't hear the ocean or or people. I just hear you singing. I moved here from San Francisco to become a singer, but I never caught my lucky break. Been here for about five years now. No recording contract, no deal, no luck. Well, you know, I don't really believe in luck. I feel like we're all blessed with unique gifts, and it's up to us to use these gifts every single day. Some people never really realize their gifts, you know, and they just waste their lives trying to figure it out. But once you do, and I feel like you gotta fight for it, because life's a fight. Well, I better get going. Are you on social? Not really, because I'm trying to stay focused for this fight, but how about you come over sometime and we could try some blood? Sure. Maybe you shouldn't have called and come with me. See this neighborhood out here? That's where I first got jumped by eight motherfuckers. I had to try and crawl out of here alive. See that block right here? That's where I first got stabbed. I was just minding my business. Then all of a sudden, there was blood everywhere. See that curve right there? I took that same guy, put his head on that curve, and kicked his motherfucking teeth in. No one ever fuck with me after that. Put his ass on the grill, see what he's made of. All right, well, let's see what he can do. Yo, Coach Green. Back from the dead. They all back? Yeah, they all back. Who are we supposed to be, man? Next Pacquiao or some shit? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see.
Ding, ding, ding. We got some fresh new meat in the house. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, you got nowhere to go now, Kung Flu. <laughs> now, you sure you want to learn how to fight? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. This is where the real fighting is done, in the streets. Not in no damn boxing gym. These guys here, they do this for a living. It's not a sport to them. It's life and death. They fight every motherfucking day. Some of these guys, you may not even see them tomorrow. This is survival for them. Be warned. They're not going to be easy on you. I'm just here to make sure they don't kill your ass. Be warned. <laughs> Are you sure you want to know how to fight? Yeah, I just need some gloves. This nigga said gloves. <laughs> gloves? There ain't no gloves in street fight. Oh, and another thing. There ain't no clock either. You both go at it to one that's left standing. Huh? How's it going? Hell yeah. Lesson number one. Always keep your hands up. Feels different to get hit with a bad punch, huh? Yeah, it's a pain you'll never forget. We exercising your muscle memory today. When I'm done, there won't be no muscle memory left. <laughs> Lesson number two. Remember, they always fight dirty. So be prepared. Jones. Yes, sir. You up next. Oh, shit. Hey, go. Hey, go. Hi, baby. Go. Get him. <laughs> you see him coming on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, come on, come on. Oh, get him, Jones. Watch that. Watch that. Woo, Jones. Go, 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 Lesson number three, never ever give up. You still want to learn how to fight? Yeah. Wait till you meet the Cholos from South Central. Sus? Anak, is that you? Yes, Mom. Oh, my God. Look at your face. Mom, I'm fine. Ugly again? Mom, I'm fine. Oh, my God. I have to take you to the hospital. No. Come on, let's go. No, Mom. I'm what, fine. What if you have brain damage? I don't have brain damage, What Mom. if you have internal bleeding? Let me see. Follow. Hmm. Okay. Wait here. If you're going to keep fighting, you have to fight smart. Don't let them hit your face. Because once they break your nose, you're going to be ugly. You want that? No, Mom. Okay. Then fight smarter. Don't get hit. It's boxing, Mom. Then be a smart boxer. Don't let them hit you. Very nice family. Hey. 
What happened? Oh, sorry. I got beat up in training. What kind of training is that? My coach is crazy. I'm so sorry I forgot about tonight. Oh, that's okay. I brought you and your mom a surprise. Oh, thank you. Balot! I love Balot! Zeus, marry her. Oh. Please come inside. Make yourself at home. Yeah. and watch my Filipino channel. It's very nice to meet you. So nice to meet you too, Auntie. Sorry again about tonight. That's okay. It's cool I got to meet your mom. This living at home thing is just a temporary thing. No need to explain. It's cute you're a mama's boy. I'm fine, a mama's boy. No, it's fine. I think all Filipino guys are mama's boys. No, not all of them. I, I'm I mean, not a mama's boy. It means, it means you'll treat your future wife right. Where's your dad? Uh, he left when I was young. I'm sorry to hear that. No, I don't need to be. So, are you ready? For what? For my favorite part of the night. What's that? Eating balut. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> try it if I brought some. See, so even have a shell literally right here. You just Don't gotta I? move it. Yeah, right there. Okay, you're good now. Yeah, no, I'm good. I can't. It's just Come like, on. It looks so gross. You're Mr. Badass Boxer and you can't eat an egg? Come on. Give me the damn egg. Yay! Oh, look at that. You can even see the hair and, oh, man. Go ahead. Do I just open it or? Yeah, oh, it's, just... all right. It's like Jurassic Park. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, all so right, there we the go. Juice. Slurp the juice. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good scoop. It's pretty good. <laughs> See? Oh, I got a shell in there. Mm -hmm. you hear that crunch? Get it all, yep. Experience mm. it all. It's good. It's good. I like it. I told you. You're right. Right? It's pretty good. Mm hmm Okay. What other animals you got in there? For more? What else you got? You're gonna wish you never asked. Put your shit in your car, come with me. What are you again? What do you mean? You Chinese, Japanese? I'm Filipino. Really? What's your last name? Ortega. <laughs> Gee, you're gonna get along with the Cholos just fine. You're practically Mexican. I was born right here in L.A. Now, how'd that make sense? You look Chinese, your last name is Otega, but you were born in America? I guess America's changing. It's not about the black or the white anymore. Maybe it is, but to Rodeo Cooper, you're still Chinese. Who it is? It ain't about 
the black or the white. It's about the green. What's good, Coach Green? Hey, fuck my man. What's going on? Oh, same shit, different day. You know what it is? It's the puto you want us to stuff in the trunk? Yo, relax. I'm fucking with you, Chun Lee. He's about to meet Sniper today. Oh, shit. You want to know why they call him Sniper? Why? Because when he shoot homes, he don't miss. Oh! Ooh, damn, Sniper. What the ball? That's what I'm talking about, is it? What did I say? Lesson number one. Always keep your hands up. Let's go. Damn, yo, Chino's got balls. Chino, I'd stay down if I was you, fool. With him? When he throw it straight, you throw your jab straight and hook. Got it? Yo, he wants some more. Show him what's up. Yeah, sniper. sniper, let's go, Sniper. Yeah. Come on, sniper. Snip him out, fool. Oh, damn, Chino. <laughs> stay down, fool. Come on. Oh. Come on, Coach Green. Listen to me, man. I'm not gonna be training you. You keep getting your ass beat. I need for you to get close enough to him so you can land your punches. Then jab straight and hook. Let's go. Come on, come on, sniper. Come on, boys, girl. Oh, boom! There it is. Shit, you good, Snipe? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, help him up. You can get hit a hundred times, but with a one hit a quitter, it's over. Send in the next guy. Yo, Max, fuck this poop dog. Uh, come, come on, on bro. Max. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. With him, straight body shots. You're gonna have to go downstairs on him. Let's go. No mercy. Come on, bro. Knock him out. Yeah, come on. Come on, Max is full too small for you. Yeah, hell yeah, knock his ass out. Max, he way too little for you. Knock this little Chino out. Oh, fool, knock his ass out, fool. Oh, man, say this fool too little for you. Oh! Ooh. Oh, boy. What up, Chuck? Yeah, watch him stay on. <laughs> Yo, he done, fool. You knocked his ass out, that's it. What's up with your boy, Coach Green? What did I tell you? Go downstairs on him. Straight body shots. What the fuck was that? Get up, man. Get your ass up. Let's go. Consider this your lesson for the day, Jackie Chan. Don't fuck with the streets. You can do that boxing shit all the fuck you want up in the gym. But when you step to us, Vato, you best make sure you come prepared. You're lucky you run with Coach G. Otherwise, you wouldn't be rolling out of here alive, Chino. Come on. 
Get up, boy. Get up, boys. Go again. Let's go. You're fighting for your mama. Give me your right hand. Yeah, take a rest. what it takes, man. I don't train losers in the gym. I train fighters, and you're not a fighter. What are you talking about? I fought all those people you were telling me to. Oh, you got your ass beat. That's what happened. I was listening to what you told me to. Listening and doing is two different things. You're just like those other boxers out there. They watch a box on TV, and they want to be on TV. But I put your ass in the street, and you can't fight for shit. They see people on social media training and posting and talking about they putting in work. But in reality, they all fluff. No core. They all for show. They soft, just like all those other millennials. Well, I'm different, and I fight different. How are you different? What is different about you, huh? Are you saying you're Gorilla Manila? Because you can't fight for shit. You're just all for show. And you're not even a real trainer, taking people out into the streets, teaching them how to fight. That's not how the greats did it. That's not how Ali did it. Is you Ali, huh? Is you fucking Ali? I'm Zeus. Who the fuck is Zeus, huh? Your mother should have named you Goose or Loose because you can't fight for shit. And I'm out of here. Only true fighters train with me. Motherfuckers from the street. I'm a true fighter. When you told me to fight those gangs, I was down. I'm even down to fight you right now in the ring. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. OK, let's get started. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, uh, you ain't no gorilla manila. Yeah, come on. How the fuck you gonna take on Rodeo Cooper? You can't even hit an old man. What the fuck is the matter with you, boy? Look at you, you can't fight for shit. Get your monkey ass up. You could get hit a hundred times, but with a one hit or quitter, it's over. if you don't want to. I want to, Mom. I have to. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to prove anything. Yes, I do, Mom. People say I'm a loser. You're not a loser. Your cousin Bong Bong, always in the casino, he's a loser. I just want to make you proud. I'm already proud of you, Anak. But you always tell me to be a nurse or work at the post office. I'm just... I just care about you. I want you to have enough money. Because without money, we can't move in this world. I grew up poor. With nothing. 
It was so hard. I don't want you to go through what I went through. And that's why I fight. I want to buy us a big house someday and take care of us the way Dad did it. He left, and now I'm the man of the house. You have a knock. A million dollars. You're a millionaire. Not yet, Mom. I still have to fight. I have to win. Uh, you do not have to win. You show up, let him beat you, and come home. I have to fight, and I have to win. For all of us Filipino Americans, for minorities across the world that don't have a voice. What will you accomplish? What will you promote? More violence? I'll promote that anything is possible in America. And that a man can be born from a poor woman in the Philippines and can become a boxing world champion. I'm proud of you, Anak. Win or lose, you do what's in your heart. But remember, always pray to God. So is with you in the ring, always. Thanks, Mom. Now, you get some rest. So you're ready to fight again tomorrow. Your mama let me in. So early? I keep hearing knocking. Then this big guy scared me. He said he's your coach. I said, okay. I didn't know you still live with your mom. Mama's boy. Get your monkey ass up. Aren't all gangsters sleeping? It's like 3 a.m. Gangsters sleep with one eye open. And so do fighters. You said, what's all this gangster gangster? Are you a gangster? No, ma'am, I'm not a gangster. I'm a cold-blooded killer. And your son's about to be one, too.
You got one more stop. Long Beach. Ladies, fellas, rule number four. What is it? No sex. What? No sex before a fight. No masturbation, no porn, no nothing. That makes no sense. We need as much testosterone inside of you as possible. Got it? Got it. I'm serious. Got it. Let me take you to the warehouse. Now, this your kind. You better take all that shit that you learned and apply it now. Tom here, he's been fighting his whole damn life. One of the baddest motherfuckers in the hood. A Muay Thai fighter. And today, I'm allowing him to kick your ass. What? You can't kick in boxing. Oh, yes to hell you can. This is a street fight, remember? A dap or die, gorilla. A dap or die. Footwork. Come on, let me see some footwork. Hands up, hands up. Remember why you started. Remember what you're fighting for. You want to know why gorillas pound their chest? Because they're ready for combat. And you ain't ready for no damn combat. Let's go. Let's go. My man.
You're crazy, you know? Coach Green believe in you. He say you have heart. I say he crazy. I say you crazy. Perfect combination to win. You got heart, kid. You go down fighting and you keep getting your ass up. And that's what it takes to be a champion in my book. Let's get your ass up so we can get you ready for this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, you can feel the electricity in the air. This is the fight that we've all been talking about. Rob Rodeo Cooper versus an unknown fighter named Zeus Gorilla in Manila Ortega. They're making the announcement at the press conference now. After searching through thousands of potential opponents for Rob Rodeo Cooper, we are proud to announce that we have selected Zeus Gorilla in Manila Ortega to fight on October 10th, 2020. And we spoke to so many potential strong fighters. And we felt that going with Zeus Ortega was the best option. Now I'm going to hand the mic over to Rob here. He's going to share his thoughts on the match. When I saw a video online of Zeus punching an innocent American, and I just saw this man collapse, I knew this type of behavior had to be dealt with the right way. I stand today not as a boxer, but as a person fighting for justice. Today, I fight on behalf of the American people on injustice and bullying. And I'm gonna make an example out of Zeus Ortega on October 10th. Hold on, hold on, I gotta interrupt. 
I got nothing but respect for you, Rob, and I greatly appreciate you giving me this opportunity. But let's set the record straight. That guy attacked me first, and I was just trying to defend an old man. Yeah, but you're a trained fighter. How about you pick on somebody your own size? Not some innocent bystander who was standing up for what he believed in. I know you're kind. See, this is the problem in America. People like you misinterpreting the facts and spinning it around to make me look like the bad guy. After hearing what you just said, I got no problem knocking your ass out on October 10th. What country are you fighting for? Both of my parents are from the Philippines, but I was born right here in LA and I'll be fighting for America. You're not American. I'm American. Americans don't fuck with weaker people just because they can. Americans don't take injustice. Why don't you fight for your own country, wherever the fuck you came from? How confident are you in Zeus defeating Rob Rodeo Cooper? I'm very confident Zeus will kick Rodeo Cooper's ass. In fact, I got a proposition to make. If Zeus loses to Rodeo Cooper, he'll leave this country. But if you lose, you leave America for good. Done. What are you doing? Relax. Mind games. He fucking with you, you fuck with him back. You losing the mind, you losing the ring. Okay, it's settled then. Hey, coach, what the fuck was that about? Mind games. What if I lose? Then you leave in America. What the fuck? I don't want to leave America. Well, then when? The fuck were you thinking? Why'd you say yes? What are you talking about? I'm gonna knock his ass out. What if you lose? I won't. What if you do? I won't. Everything okay? I don't know if I could take out Rodeo. And deep down inside, I don't even know if I should fight. What do you mean? I see you out here and you play and people walk past you. With me, people think I'm some Asian racist that just beats up people. They look at me like I'm some loser. Well, maybe I am a loser. And maybe this whole rodeo thing is just a payday. A loser? Stop talking like that. That's how I feel. And that's why you fight. You make sure the world knows you. It's why I'm out here every day, every night. I don't care about the money. I don't care if people walk past me. I don't care if people steal from me. All I care about is that one person who feels my music, who appreciates what I'm putting out in the world. I'm not like you, Cora. I'm not making music. You're making history. You're fighting for us, for Filipinos, for Americans. I'm not American. People don't even know what I am. Is he Chinese? Is he Vietnamese? And that's why you fight. You make sure they know who you are. I'm a nobody, all right? Nobody gives a fuck about me. I'm a loser. Stupid fucking Asian loser.
If that's what you believe, then you're right. Hands up. Come on, hands up. Come on, hands up. Come on, hands up. Life's a fight and you're a fighter. So show me you're a fighter. Coach, what are you smiling for? You look like you had some. <laughs> oh, hell no. You did not. Please tell me you didn't sleep with her. Did you sleep with her? Zeus, did you? Yep. You dumb motherfucker. What the fuck did I say when I said no sex? Are you really trying to get knocked out in the ring? We need as much testosterone inside of you as possible. And here you go, blowing up inside her. If you get your ass knocked out, I'm gonna say because of that pussy. Am I interrupting? Uh, no. Did you guys have sex? How was he? What? How was he in bed? Uh, aggressive? You see, that's the shit we need in the ring. And here you go, blowing up inside her. No offense. Listen, Miss Corazon, do me a favor, please. For the love of God, do not have sex only after the fight. Got it? Dumb motherfucker. Finally, the long anticipated fight is here. Rob Rodeo Cooper will be going head to head with a local young Filipino American boxer named Zeus Gorilla in Manila or Tate. Oh my god. This is the first Oh my god, that's my nephew. That's my nephew. I'm gonna be coming to Zeus. Oh my god. The fight will be taking place in Vegas on October 10th. Oh hey, Auntie. How sweet be with a nephew? Good. Thank you. What? This for you. It's not even my birthday, Auntie. I know. But I just wanted to do something special because you're my favorite nephew. Uh, thank you. Come in. Come in. Can I cook you anything? Oh, no, Auntie. It's fine. Thank you. Are you sure I can make you pancit, palabok, lumpia, dinuguan, sisig, anything you want? Oh, no. Thank you, Auntie. You know, I saw on the TV that you are in a big boxing match. Uh, yes, Auntie. Well, I just wanted to say that I always believed in you. I knew you would always succeed. Thank you, Auntie. You are a good gorilla in Manila. Thank you, Auntie. And also... Oh, yes, Auntie. If you win, can you buy me a Louis Vuitton purse? Sure, Auntie, yes. Okay, I'll go with you to the store and you buy it, okay? Yes, Auntie. Okay, I, I will leave you now so you can focus on your boxing, boxing. Thank Bye. You. Oh, hey, Uncle. Zeus, I saw you on the TV. Oh, yes, I'm Uncle. so proud of you. Thank you, Uncle. Here, come in, come in. You're a boxing star now. I knew you shouldn't have joined the Navy. See? I was just testing you. And well, you passed. Thank you, Uncle. You know, I was thinking, since you're into sport, I'm into sport myself too. And, um, you know, I'm practicing a challenging sport. Very challenging. Just as challenging as boxing. A lifelong sport. And you see, I need these tools to do the sport right. Can you help me get these tools? 
Um, what kind of tools are these, Uncle? Golf clubs. Sure, Uncle, I'll get you one. I need a set. Please. It will help me with improving my game of golf. Just like you're improving your boxing, huh? you see? Okay, yeah, I'll get you set. Okay, great. I'll go with you when you're not busy. Sure, Uncle. Good luck with the pie. Yes, Uncle. Mom, Auntie Seta and Uncle Romeo stopped by to congratulate me. Auntie Seta wants me to buy her a Louis Vuitton purse. And Uncle Romeo wants me to buy him golf clubs. You all right, Mom? Huh? Yeah. I'm fine. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Just tired. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine, Anak. I just... I just want you to remember that there are always good people in this world and bad people. And if ever anybody says something bad to you out there, just know they're not all like that. I know that, Mom. You don't have to worry about me. Did somebody mess with you? Let me know and I'll knock his ass out. No, no, no. Nobody mess with me. Just focus on knocking out your opponent. Do it for me. Do it for the Philippines. Do it for America. Do it for everyone. Experience bad people. Yes, Mom. Hey there, champ. Oh, hey. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Please, not again. No, we didn't do it. Oh, thank God. All right, let's take a break. I got my eye on you, too. I'm so proud of you. You got this. Thanks. You know, don't jinx it now. Just wanted to see you. I want to see you too. Except Coach Green's been killing me there in the ring. Well, I got you a little gift to help you with your training. What is it? Oh. It's Balut. Thank you. I'll leave it here. And I got your gift too. Here, come with me. When I saw you singing at the pier one night, I got this idea. And I was like, what if you could sing in front of everyone on TV? And so I contacted the commission and I asked them if you could sing the Philippine national anthem on fight night. And they oh said, yes. God. This is so amazing. Oh. You're amazing. You deserve it. Wow. this. It's a blessing. What the fuck is this shit? Ladies and gentlemen, finally, the fight we've all been waiting for. Rob, Rodeo Cooper versus Zeus, Gorilla in Manila, Ortega. Yes, it's finally here. And these times are truly crazy, Joe. I mean, this is the first time in history where the audience is all on TV. I mean, there's really no audience in this arena, and it's really weird. But one thing's for certain, COVID will not stop these two fighters tonight. I know, Chuck, hey, COVID has taken over a lot of things in this world, but one thing it hasn't taken over is the sport of boxing. Fighters will fight no matter what. Hey, it can be Armageddon, and these two still get in the ring with each other. Especially with the animosity Rodeo has towards Zeus. Now, check this. 
Coach Green did say that if Zeus loses this fight, that he'll move out the country. Can you believe oh, that? Oh my gosh, oh, this fight's gonna be truly interesting. I mean, these times are crazy, but you know who's even crazier is Rodeo Cooper. I mean, giving Ortega a chance at the middleweight title of the world, all while his mother just passed away not too long ago. I mean, this fight means a lot to them. Yeah, but Zeus is an underdog too now. He was born in America, born in Los Angeles. That's my son. For his Filipino roots. That's my son. And he went viral. Let's not forget, he went viral. <laughs> Yo, remember when I knocked that Chino out? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's my man. Let's go, bro. Man, I knocked this guy out already. Man, you stepped on his shoe. Yeah, all right. I mean, nah, you did. Come on. Yeah, we got absolutely. a professional fighter and some kid who was viral on YouTube. Absolutely no shot. I mean, it has to be a respect for the game. It, yeah. You can't just go viral after one hit and get an opportunity to do like this. You know, my brother knocked me out after one hit when I was eight years old. Should he be in this ring right now? My mama knocked me out because I wouldn't clean the dishes because I stepped to my dad after that. Tell you what, your mom, my brother, toe to toe right after this. How about that? Let's do it. Let's you know go. what? Let's go. Yeah, might as well. Oh, this is so what, cute. What you say? Oh, he's cute. I don't know. My money's from Cooper. Then fuck you. Who said it you want? I 20,000 on Zeus. I knocked his ass out. He ain't that hard. <laughs> Just because you use your legs. Try using your hands next time. I'll use my hands on him, all right. And we take it to the ring with Miss Corazon. Punon Bayon. Punon Bayon. Wow, beautiful name. With the Philippine National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, singing the Philippine National Anthem tonight, Corazon Punon Bayon. Bay ang magiliw, perlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso sa dibdib mo ay wow. buhay. Wow, she's so pretty. I don't like her dress though. She should have worn a different color. You're just jealous because you can't even pity that. <laughs> Damn, that girl fun. Sheesh. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't lying. Yeah, brother. Is she up? I think that's Zeus's girl. Hell no. What? Yeah, right. That's Zeus's girl? Yeah, I think so. Hey, listen, bro. Did Zeus ever go down? I'll take his girl. <laughs> what? Okay. Stand in line, brother. <laughs> Ligaya na pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa yo. I love you, baby. Kick his ass. Come on, don't get soft on me now. See that shit for later. Okay, let's go. Hooks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, singing tonight's national anthem, Jared Axon. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? That's it. There he is. There he is. There's Romeo. There's Romeo. That's it. You lose, baby. Get that focus. And that's it. And that's it. You going out of here? Let's go. Let's go, Chad. <laughs> We can do this, Chad. No. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Hey. 
tonight's main event for the middleweight championship of the world. Fighting out of the red corner, Zeus, Gorilla in Manila, Ortega. <laughs> and fighting out of the blue corner, Rob Rodeo Cooper. The referee for tonight's fight, Michael Oleg Beggy. All right, gentlemen, we went over the instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves if you want. All right, back to your corners. Come out ready to fight. Knock his ass out. Remember why you started. Remember what you're fighting for. You got this. Fighter ready? Fighter ready? Let's go! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Jab, jab! Move, move! <laughs> rodeo opens up with the barrage of punches. Oh, he's firing away like a wild rodeo cowboy. keeps taking heat after heat. Come on, punch back, Gino. There you go. Ah, that hurt me. Right, right in the gut. Jab, jab, up top, up top. Right, right. Back to your corner. Rodeo is eating him alive right now. Such a monkey ass in. What the fuck was that? What was what? I thought you was never gonna get your ass beat, man. Boy, what the hell are you doing out there? You look at my goddamn grandmother. She's 20 years fucking dead. Listen, what you need to do is get in there as tight as possible and let it rip. Let them strong punches get in there, man. Come on, champ, you can do this. Let them feel the wrath of the gorilla. Combo and move, combo and move. I'm gonna win this fucking fight. That's what I'm doing. This boy is a nobody, you understand? Now stop playing games. Back when I was in the ring, I couldn't even take that much. Well, back in my day, I could. Come on, come on! Hands up, hands up! Come on, dude, stop. Shoulder right in his face. Oh, what a cheap shot. Keep it clean. Protect yourself. Let's go. Come on, fight back, fight back. Side of size. Move your head, move your head. Come on.
I'm telling you, I need to get in there to show these guys something. You're way out of your league. Breathe, Jack, breathe. Come on. That's nothing. That's nothing, man. Just breathe, breathe. All right? Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. His hands are high. When he puts his hands up high, you got him in the ribs, man. You got to let your hands go. Let your hands go, okay? Boy, that is exactly what the fuck I am talking about. Keep that pressure on. Do not let him come out of that corner throwing a single punch. Tee off on this fucking kid. Do you hear me? I hear you. This is your fight, baby. This is your fight. It's not working, Coach. Just take it, take it. I don't know if I keep going. Relax, relax, relax. Breathe. Take it easy. That's it. Take deep breath, deep breath. There you go. Again. There you go. All right? That's nothing, man. You look good. You look good out there. This kid is nothing. You understand? He is nothing. You better take this fight. You want this fight? Yeah. This is for your mama. You remember? Huh? You remember? You get in there, son. You slip that jab. You double up on the right hand. Set him up. You got it? I got it. All right, sir. Get in there. Whoa. Come on, Rob. You didn't see that? He tripped him. Let's go. Ooh. Get your hands up. That's it, Rob. That's it. Shoot, get up. Get up, Chino. Get up. Five. Come on, Zeus. Six. Get your hands up, Zeus. Seven. Stop, Zeus. Get up. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. Come on, get up. Please. Get up. Hey, there you go. Off me. Yeah. Let's end it around. Come on. Let's end it around. Back to your corner. Let's go. I believe in you. That's why I never threw in the towel. You have to believe in yourself, man. I need you to end this fight now. I'm not fucking around. Do you understand me? Damn it. But fight dirty if you got to. I don't give a fuck. It is all about winning. Don't matter how you get there, just get there. Do you understand? Yeah. I got it, coach. Remember, you can get hit with a hundred punches, but with a one hit a quitter, it's over. Come on, champ. You can do this, all right? One hit a quitter, it's over. Hands up, jab, straight, and hook. Jab, straight, and hook. Oh. 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 All right, let's Let's go. 